Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Martin Baraya and in this tutorial we gonna learn about the basics of Kotlin and this is part 2 video of Kotlin. Okay guys, now let's take examples about the if statement. For the first example, if we say if the first condition 100 less than 200 and this this condition is true or 200 less than 100 and this condition is false now if you remember uh, about the or operators if one or both of them are true then the expression should be true so in this case you can say this value gonna return true because one of the condition is true so we can say print expression is true and the second example if we say if 100 less than 200 and this condition is true and 200 less than 100 and this condition is false and you, if you remember the AND operators work only if both of conditions are true so in this case because one of them are false this false condition so the, the value should be false so we can say print expression is false Kotlin flow control okay guys now let's talking about if expression if expression returns the value of condition and for example if we say val age equal 40 If age less than 12, Brentlin, you are too young to watch this movie. Else, if age less than 13, Brentlin, you can watch this movie with a parent. Else, does mean otherwise? Brentlin, you can watch this movie. Now, if you notice, this is the structure of if expression. Here we have a condition, begin, one line of code, or could be many line of codes, and else, another condition if, begin, one line of code or many line of code and end else let's mean otherwise begin one line of code then end and the last three lines of code where if age less than 10 here we don't put begin and end brackets so in this case only the first line of code under if is going to be executed so if age is done 10 then it's going to execute only this print line you are too young to watch this movie and after this line the last line of code this one if we say print line you should go home this is could be out of the if body and it could be shown around because we don't put two brackets for begin and end so in this case only the first line of code after if statement 
is gonna be executed okay guys now let's talking about the when expression actually the when expression it's replace the switch operator for C language if you are familiar with C language this expression replace the switch operator with C for example when X this is a variable X if number one print X equal equal 10 uh, if number 2 print x equal equal 20 else that means otherwise print x neither 10 nor 20 and this is the structure of when expression okay guys now let's talking about for loops and the for loop is equivalent to the for each loop in language like c sharp and the syntax is for item in collection then print item and the body can be block of code like this okay guys now let's take some examples for the first example we can say for i n 1 to 10 like this then begin print len i and in this case the for loop gonna print 1 to 10 one after another and we can try our code from the official website so we can go through the try dot catlin plank dot org and then we here we can try it then we can put our code here and try it so I put my code inside the main function so here if we put our code then run the code we're gonna check the compiler it's, so it's gonna print from 1 to 10 on the second example we can say for i in 5 down to 0 like this on the step 3 begin print len i so we're gonna put this code inside the compiler to check it so we're gonna put our code here inside the main function and run the code so the compiler print 5 the first number down to 0 on the step 3 that's mean after 5 5 plus a 3 step then print so in this case the compiler print 2 after 5 um, if we can change 5 to be for example 7 so and run the code in this case the compiler gonna bring the first number and after three steps gonna bring the second number and after three steps gonna bring the last number and the steps going through to be down to zero so the compiler gonna bring it like this okay guys now let's talking about while loops while loop it is a control flow statement that allows code to be executed repeatedly based on a given condition 
then we're gonna take some examples so the first example by using while we can say while a greater than zero begin a minus minus so in this way we can use while then the condition here and begin and here we can write the statement then the second example we can use do while so for the do while we can write it in this way we can say do then begin on the statement here the statement is val x equal and m data this is a method and this is referred to quotes inside body of do while and after end of this do we can say while then the condition here and the condition in this way we can write x not equal null and this is referred to test expression okay guys now that's it for this video if you like the video please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get update tutorials like this and thank you for watching